Hi, this is a different type of video today from Barry the Movie Demon. This is how I do my video editing. So we are going to show you the, the little pop-up of me at the bottom uh, with the green screen effect and everything where it's just me, no background. Unlike the very first one with Night of the Living Dead where I popped up with a background, I didn't know how to green screen at that time and I was using different software. This is DaVinci Resolve 17. You see at the bottom it says Public Beta. Um, public beta means this is the free version. The free version of DaVinci actually has more features than a lot of paid versions of other softwares. <clears throat> so I went with this one after I learned how to use it. It took me a while and a few videos to figure it out. So what we have here, I took the Killer Shrews, which is episode 6. The entire movie is right here in the bin. But I took a little clip that's about 35 seconds long. And I have joke number 1. So we're going to start with joke number one here, and as you can see my green screen, it's a portable one, it doesn't fit quite in the frame, and we're going to have to fix that, but first we have to trim the clip, because it's too long, the beginning is me doing like a lead in, because I don't have one of those slates where you, clamp, where you snap it, or anything, anyone to do it, I'm doing this all alone, so we, I'll show you how it starts. Okay, then when you mark it in, or the way DaVinci handles it is these in out markers. Um, you can just use the keyboard and press I or click the in button right here. And that trims the beginning of the clip off when you drag it to the timeline. It means straight ahead. And right there's about where I want it to end, so I'm going to click out. And that makes the clip only this long. And that's what I want. But where do I want it to go? Well, this red thing here is the playhead in the timeline. It's somewhere around here. Let's play it and listen. Why is Get ahead? What's that mean us? Right there. There's my cue. It was a response to what he just said. So, I'm going to just drag it here. And it's going to snap to where the playhead is. The Vinci's nice where you can turn off snapping, but... I generally want it on because I need to line things up, so right there. Now, you guys have seen the show, or I hope so, and you don't see all of this around me. So, since this clip now, I've selected it with the mouse, I'm going to crop it. So you open cropping here in the inspector. You want to make sure inspector is selected. Crop the left, just slide the slider over until you are satisfied. And the same on the right. I'm going to crop the top a little also because I don't need all of that up there. Now, I'm not generally right in the middle in front of all the action. I try to go off to the side and I zoom out. So, move the zoom and then move the position to the left. And scroll the Y position down. I'm just grabbing these numbers with the mouse and scrolling to the left or the right to change them. You can manually change them with the keyboard if you'd like. So that's about where I wanted to be. So before I do the transition where I pop in from the bottom and pop out, because the transition makes it harder to work with the clip, I'm going to do the green screen effect first. So in order to do that, it's an open effects effect. So normally you start like this. You want to open the effects library. Go to open effects and find a thing called the 3D keyer which is right here. I have it marked as a favorite, that's what this star is, so it appears in my favorites. I'm gonna grab it and drag it onto my clip of me. That's where I want the keyer to be. Now if I select me, I get this effect thing in the inspector lighting up. It lets me know that I put an effect on it. Now if I do anything, it's not gonna show up here because we're in the transform view, which is the default view. We have to go into the open effects overlay view. So now, the way you do the keyer is you have to pick a color. So you use the picker. That's what they call this little eyedropper tool, the picker. And I'm going to select the green. You just click and drag on it. And it's got all these little pixels. My first time using this, I left the pixels in. Or I, I just kind of clicked on a bunch of the pixels and tried to get rid of them. And that's not the right way to be doing this. If you scroll down to this output and use the black and white alpha, it lets you see that it looks kind of like crap. <laughs> and you can you can use this to clean it up 
But if you open up Matte Finesse and just scroll the clean black up, it looks a lot better already just with the clean black setting. Um, you can do that to just to see me and you use your mouse wheel to scroll in. Um, I don't see any problems. If we do final composite, there's a little bit of a line up there. So let me mess with the clean black a little until I start to get fuzzy. See, it starts to make me fuzzy looking. I don't want that. So that's about as high as clean black can go. If you want to get rid of that blue thing, you can ch click this show path box and it'll make the path go away. Let's zoom back out. So there we are. I'm in the frame now. <clears throat> that's how you green screen yourself. So if you're doing Twitch or just video game videos or whatever, uh, if you want to put yourself in there, put your video up here on video 2, make sure you're above it on the timeline, and have a green screen or blue screen or whatever, and use the 3D keyer. Uh, that's how you do that. Now, to do the rest of my effect, I do a transition. So, we're going to go to video transitions. I use the slide effect. It's favorited as well. But it's right here, slide. I like to split the blank space in that we'll select the ooh, that's okay. What did I do? There. Sometimes an errant click screws things up. And you just hit control Z to undo what you're doing. And let's move that out there. So I have the transition selected. It's sliding left to right now, so let's see what it looks like. What's that mean, us? My boy, that puts off. Now, that's not what happens in the show. If you've seen it, I come up from the bottom, so we just, just do this preset here. It's like bottom up. What's that mean, us? My boy, that puts off. There we are. Nice and smooth. You can change the settings. Um, you can add motion blur if you want. I generally don't. Uh, this transition curve changes some of the things. You can just drag the box to make it slower. Make it take longer. Uh, and then I slide out at the end and I do the exact opposite. I put it halfway and then I do top down and then I make sure this is set to out. I'll show you what happens if I don't set it to out. Right in the middle of it. it cuts the top off of me. Right. So if I set it to out it actually makes me slide down. So in and out make a difference. So my transition's in there, but if you notice, it's really hard to hear me. If you see down here, my audio track is really low. So what we can do here is on the audio tab of the inspector, once my clip is selected, I can just increase my volume. Now I don't want to go ridiculous high, but that's about right. But I can also just decrease their volume but right now I have the entire clip selected. So what I gotta do, since the playhead's right at the beginning, I gotta put in a cut. Um, the easiest way to do it is control backslash. I don't even remember the other way to do it, to be honest, it's one of these buttons. But control backslash is the keyboard shortcut, and then we'll go to the end of my clip, select their clip, and control backslash. So <clears throat> that cut doesn't affect the video or audio at all, it just makes them separate little manageable clips so now I can select just this little bit of audio and let's just type in negative 8 enter and it made their audio much smaller while mine got bigger so now you should be able to hear me clearly what's that mean to us? Boy, that means straight ahead, ahead. Mm -hmm. see? now it's a joke there's a cove <laughs> on the lee side though we'll so that's, that's how we do it what a and then the clips ended. That's how we do it. Um, the entire show is done that way as far as the pop-up jokes. Even the one in Dimension 13 where I put Clippy in there from the old Microsoft Word. I, I popped him up like that. So, if you want to green screen yourself into anything really, just get a green screen. You can get the portable ones pretty cheap. Um, or just get a big one on a rack if you've got a room or paint a room green. Whatever, whatever you do. Um, and DaVinci Resolve uh, 17 is free. You can get this version of it for free and work with it just like this. 
and put yourself into whatever you'd like. There are tons of videos out there on other things you can do that are really fun, really easy, little bits of editing, and there are free effects you can download from all over the place for this. And as I get better, I'll put out more videos for you to maybe help you along. Uh, if you want to do a show similar to mine or something completely different that just uses the same style of effects, f feel free to steal this effect from me. <laughs> make your own stuff, make your own content, and have fun with it.